giant bread bug, Pansaris gigantis, bread bug family. This gargantuan species of the greater breadbug family has a torso so perfectly square that it almost seems like it was formed in a mold. For a brief period after birth, the giant breadbug comp competes for food with smaller breadbugs, but upon reaching maturity, it seeks out much larger prey. This is the primary reason that the two species with similar feeding habits can coexist in the same habitat. Hordes of Pikmin appear to pose the only plausible threat to this massive creature's life. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Today is the day I've been dreading since the start of the series, and yet today is also the day I've been looking forward to most since before I started the channel. Being able to show this game to someone, to anyone, to hopefully share my, my passion, my exuberance for showing how good of a series this is. And it started with the Valley of Repose, an area that drew me in as a child. The first glimpse I got into the Pikmin series was here, with its quiet and serene atmosphere just drawing you in and, want, and making you want to learn more about this world. We then moved on to beat the Awakening Wood, whose ever-changing landscape between Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 as the Forest of Hope and then the Awakening Wood shows exactly how much metamorphosis this planet goes through. And this area is probably the biggest proponent, the biggest catalyst in proving that humanity met their demise at the hands of a nuclear war, a fallout, with its Geiger counter, which you can find in the first game. And finally, yesterday, we beat the Perplexing Pool, an area with memorable bosses, bull bears, and an ever-changing assortment of baddies that force you to follow within a tempo of constantly managing your resources and managing threats in the world. Truly, an area that is deceivingly tranquil. And in the first game, it's featured one of the most dangerous bosses in the series. And today, this episode, right now, we are moving on to the Wistful Wild, beating the final cave of the game, getting the last few above-ground treasures, right now. The Wistful Wild. Now, it's no coincidence that I have waited as long as I have to return to this area. Because while we did spend a lot of time in this place uh, a, a number of days ago, it's now had time to grow back. And so now, we're going to have to be encountering the Gatling Groink once again. Also, we have exactly, well, exactly and some change, enough purple Pikmin. And it was, it was close. There was a danger a couple episodes ago, or last, last episode that we wouldn't have enough. And we just barely hit the mark. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, perfectly suspenseful. I mean, we have one more than we need, but still we are able to collect the Doomsday Apparatus with 100 purple Pikmin. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. It's going to go really slowly uh, that's kind of that's kind of concerning considering how many how many treasures I need to get today that's that's a little bit worrisome here let's see if we can at least get this done kill this guy I don't see the Gatling growing oh cool boulder come on boulder boulder hit him yeah Man, that, that other boulder went for a ride. Okay, so we got that treasure. It's about to come in. Oh, no, no, no. That's going to be really annoying. Please don't. Please die. Will this hurt it? Oh, cool. Thank you, Gatling Grunk. I, I appreciate that. Okay, so I know there's a treasure over next to the final cave. But I'm not entirely sure where the last one is. Wow, that 
That is making no progress whatsoever. Here, let's let's use a spray on this. Because this is taking forever. This is it's crazy. Also, judging by this thing's size, this is a five pound weight. Just just look at this. Oh wait, actually, no, doesn't it show? I think it shows how much it weighs on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. One kilogram. Okay. One kilogram. Uh ew, my metric is a bit rusty. Is that... Oh, man. How many... How, future pal, please. How much... How heavy is that in... In... American standard pounds? Because while... While the metric system is... Strictly better than... Than uh, our American version... Uh, it's... It's still not something that I'm entirely familiar with. Being raised on the American system, so... One kilogram, it doesn't say much to me. Okay, so let's see if we can scout out. It's actually something I need to show on show off later. Let's scout out to see where that last treasure is. Bunch of mid tights, and that actually that does segue fairly well into a topic or a thing that I can't show off right now, and that is uh, on certain number of days there will be mites that appear right here. Uh, they're poisonous, so whenever a, a Pikmin would kill them, they'll release a cloud of poison. There's the other treasure. They release a cloud of poison, but they also drop a ton of nectar and sprays. So I probably need to show that off at some point, because it's one of the game's lesser-known secrets. The Doomsday Apparatus. Worth 3,000? Wow! I, I forgot that that's how much that thing was worth. Snap! Okay, so now we need... I probably should have carried Pikmin with me to carry the captain's back. But that's fine. I, I have shoes. I can make this work. So we need to get one out of... or 20 of every color Pikmin. That, that is important. And we need to find that last treasure. I'm guessing... Hmm. I'm guessing the final treasure is inside... Inside one of the orange bulb orbs? That would kind of make sense. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm putting all my purple Pikmin away, it's because that way it shuffles all of the leaves to the back of the group. So, that's why I'm doing that. Okay, let's get 20 reds. 20 purples. Now, some strategies... In fact, I, I'm i tempted to recommend this. You, you can take all yellows into the final cave and be fine. And for sometimes, if, if you're just going after the boss, I suggest doing that, but I'm planning on tackling every single threat that, that comes my way, so unfortunately, I do need to handicap myself in this way. Okay, let's, let's get this snitch bug. Jump down. There. Kill him. Make sure I'm on the lookout for the Gatling Groink. Where did... Where, where on earth? Oh, whoa. How do you get over there, buddy? Get over here. <laughs> Those guys had to... They they uh, got cycled off screen when I when I had punched them, and so they just shook for no reason. Okay, just make sure I, I risk as few members of my squad as possible. If that means I have to use overpowered purples, that... So be it. All right, so I need blues now. And uh, this this doesn't feel good. I'm going to have to defeat a Gatling Groink with, with just 20. I mean, I guess I can do that. It just does not feel good. No. Oh, they bounced off. Why did they bounce off? That's weird. I don't remember seeing that before. I mean, I know they bounce off. I know they bounce off when, uh, when, if I can talk, I know they bounce off when you hit the windshield, but I did not know that they would do that. Okay, so I managed to stay outside of its sight radius. Let's deal with the bridge first, so that we can get the rest of our squad in here. The Wallywog, yeah, he's, he's cool. He likes us. He, he won't attack as long as I stay away from him and then we'll bring the blues back across and then flower them take down that that gate <sighs> things things are moving on 
pretty s smoothly. I, I've gotten rid of one of the major threats of the of the area. The orange bulb orbs are a bit a bit danger. Oh boy. Oh, that's another thing I need to do. Oh. Okay. Use your fire. Use your fire. And then you guys carry it back. No. No. Oh, this is kind of bad. Yeah, you, you, you do this. Come, turn this way. I really don't want to kill you right now. There. Carry it away. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good. Now carry him back as quickly as possible. I cannot afford for you to wake up. Please don't wake up. Oh, he's going to wake up. Oh, he's definitely going to wake up. Uh, I don't want to abandon him. And he will wake up off screen, too. Okay, so let's just take the whites. Since he is going to wake up, we'll take the whites. And yes, I, I do see the... I do see the, the people there. Okay. Oh, go back, go back! Run! Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh. I, we've never actually seen one of these guys wake up before. And I think we will. Maybe. Uh, I'll get these things back. Oh, he's got, He's definitely going to wake up. Oh, man. He's waking up. Wow. We've never seen that before. And there he goes. And... <laughs> now he's back. He's dead again. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor guy. I mean, that didn't go entirely as planned, but it wasn't that inconvenient. And at least we got to show that off before the series ended. Oh, the series is ending. Oh. I'm so sad. That's probably why... I mean, that's why I am... I sound... Distraught. It just... I... This series did go much further than I originally expected. I mean, when I saw the... The debt completion... Uh, marker every single episode... I was starting to get a bit worried that it was only going to last... A handful of episodes. Maybe like 30 or 20, but... Oh, you, Wallywog. I see you. But it... It was... It's fine. I am... It went longer than I expected. Alright, so let's dismiss this crew. This is getting a bit risky. I actually don't need to kill that guy. It's getting a bit risky. Oh! And... There. Yeah, this is getting a bit dangerous for time. Dangerous for time. Good commentary, pal. But it is getting a little bit late in the day. I'm... Here, let's... Let's store our Pikmin. Over here. And... Spray these... Where's a white? I need the last white. There. This will make it go just a tiny iota faster. And just to pass the time, let's go kill him, because he uh, exists. Poor guy. Why are purple so overpowered? Let's just, let's just ask that right now. I mean, maybe, you know what it probably was? It was probably one of those things that the developers thought, well, there aren't going to be that many purples in the game, so... I mean, because they're, they're so rare. So let's just make them really strong. Plus, they don't have any elemental weaknesses. So they can't be that good. Or they they aren't that good. Let's buff them. And But they didn't realize that elemental hazards don't mean a whole lot in this this game. I mean, if when I'm recommending that, that other people tackle a cave with all five hazards or all four hazards in it with just yellows, elemental things aren't that... that big of a a factor okay if I if at all possible I do want to okay there I I don't want I want to take this guy out like this and then I want to take out the blowhog let's take out the blowhog he's down now where is that last treasure where it's not up there. We we already looked up there. Oh no, it's in it's in that guy. Oh right. So that that answers that question. And he's done. And sure enough, there it is. All right, here it comes. This is what we've been waiting for. 
pick that up, carry it back, and while you do, uh, let's send Olmar back as well, and then, let's discover, oh boy, the Dream Den. Perhaps you will find Louie in here! And yet, my CPU is on edge! Ludicrous dangers await! Beasts lurk at the bottom of the deepest, darkest, most foul, sinister, horribly vile pit! And insert other things that I cannot find in my thesaurus! Do you still wish to enter? Of course you do! Courage is our true treasure! <sighs> the final cave! It's all come down to this. The Dream Den is our final cave. Okay, let's check in on the group. There, it's coming close. I didn't expect the day to be this, this hectic. We are, we are about to hit sundown. Oh, I'm, I'm getting scared. I'm not, can we do this? Certainly, we can do this. Where's the... Okay, that's taking forever. It hasn't hit sundown yet? Uh... Yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can... Uh, I will stay optimistic that we can complete this goal in, in a day's time. Even if these things are super slow. There it is, sundown. I think we can do it. I, I'll stay positive. We can we can do this. We can do this. Tell yourself, pal. Don't be th that worried about the cave that you don't even think you can get in. Seed of greed. Is it because... Oh, it's because squirrels hoard them, them away. That makes sense. Okay, night time. Please hurry. You're taking forever. Oh, I'm not sure if we can do this. And if we can, it's going to be f super close. Let's angle, or let's distance ourselves away from the ship so that it saves us some time. They'll all run to the captain. Good. Oh. Anti-hiccup fungus. Cool. This is us running now. Uh, this sound, this looks weird, but I, I really don't think I can make it any other way besides... Empowering my squad purples are so stinking slow that I don't think I can do it any other way. Yeah, I I would not have been able to do it Okay with Just seconds remaining on the clock Let's whistle up The president we have all 100 just to make sure we have 20 of every kind of Pikmin for the the second time in my life Let's complete The dream den Ooh, oh, that's what he does. So I'll put him out. He's gonna fall down. Yeah, this is gonna be... Well, actually, what am I doing? This is gonna be cake. In fact, it's gonna be such cake. Where's the bull bear? Oh! Pikmin, do not fall in that. Oh! Get out of the way! This was dangerous! Kill this one! How did I lose?